the elder tree. This time of the year, the pure essence of summer with its beautiful white blossom cascading along our hedgerows and making them come to life. It's a very interesting tree full of folklore, legends and mythology. Let's take a look at this lovely tree. Elder trees grow up to about 15 metres in height and live approximately 60 years. Elderberries are high in vitamin C and vitamin A. Also, they are high in iron, calcium and potassium. Elder is monoecious, which means it has both the male and female reproductive parts within the same flower. The elder folklore stories are strange and fascinating. The elder witch and the Rollright stones is one of them. The famous stones are said to be that of men that were turned to stone by a witch. Many centuries ago, when England was ruled by various tribes, a king and his army arrived at the Rollright Hill. He was attempting to become ruler of the entire land. The witch approached the king. Seven long strides thou shalt take, if long Compton thou can see, king of England thou shall be. The king, convinced that climbing the hill would be easy, endeavour replied, stick, stock, stone, as king of England I shall be known. However, he was not able to do the seven strides because the witch had made the land rise and now they were cursed. As long Compton thou cannot see, King of England thou shall not be. Rise up, stick and stand still, stone, for King of England thou shall be none. Thou and thy men, whore stone shall be, and I myself an elder tree. Elder is a sacred tree, so the wood should never be burned. And the reason is, people believe that if you burnt the wood, you would summon the devil. And also, the tree should never be cut down because you would anger the elder mother living in the tree. The elder was also used to wade off evil spirits and the devil. Carrying a piece in your pocket would protect you at all times. J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows was going to be called Harry Potter and the Elder Wand because in the right hands, the Elder Wand was the most magical, deadly weapon of all. Baked goods were left under the Elder Tree to cool and any left over that night would be given to the fairy folk. Elder cut into a cross and placed on a new grave. If it blossomed, the loved one would reach heaven. Elder leaves, when crushed, have a very strong smell and makes an excellent fly repellent and for centuries has been used as a fly repellent. If you put it on the horse's manes or in their harness, it keeps away the flies. Elder trees were planted by the barns and the stables to keep the animals inside safe. The trees were also planted in the gardens close by the house to keep the evil spirits and the devil away. Elder also has a long association with music making, no doubt enhancing its link with the merrymaking fairies. Its scientific name, Sambuca, is of Greek origin and was first recorded by Pliny the Elder, AD 77. The Sambuca was an ancient harp. The small shrill instrument was said to be well used by the Romans. If you want to keep your youth and beauty, then collect the early morning dew from the elder tree and you'll keep your youth forever. Seeds found in Switzerland Neolithical pole dwellings hint that elderberry was cultivated as early as 2000 BCE and discovered a long while before that time. In written history, Hippocrates and Pellini the Elder both noted elderberry's medicinal properties. Hippocrates was a Greek physician known as one of the most outstanding figures in history of medicine.
elderflowers are used in wines, jellies, jams, all kinds of lovely things. And so are the berries. It's so useful. And of course, elder is one of the most medicinal trees for arthritis, inflammation, gout, all kinds of things is this wonderful medicinal tree used for. A lovely glass of elderflower juice, great for hay fever and a sore throat. The beautiful berries make a delicious wine or jam. Hans Christian Andersen wrote a fairy tale all about the elder mother. It's a really strange but lovely story. In the story, the sickly little boy is made the healing elderflower tea. Here we see the elder mother rising from the teapot. This illustration is by the famous Arthur Rackham. Every part of the elder tree has healing properties, but also, which is more important, is our wildlife love the elder tree. From moths, caterpillars, they all love this tree. Bank voles especially like the elder and it's an important autumn food source for a variety of birds. Wreaths of elder were placed in the house on Good Friday at sunset. Why? Well this would stop lightning striking the house and protect people as well. It would wade off the evil spirits. Elder has a fungus known as Jew's ear or Judas ear. It has many health benefits, protecting the liver, lowering cholesterol, good gut health. And it's long been used in Chinese medicine and in stir fries and lots of dishes. It is said, if you fall asleep under the elder tree, you will never wake up. And also, if you stood under the tree on Midsummer's Day, you would see the fairy folk. The pith of the elder has been used by watchmakers to clean the tools before the intricate work. The hollow stem with the soft pith removed was also used to make whistles and flutes. Elder is mentioned in Shakespeare's plays. In The Merry Wives of Windsor, Shakespeare acknowledges the belief in the medicinal value of elder with the line, What says my Asclepius, my gallon, my heart of elder? Asclepius, the Greco-Roman god of medicine. Here we see the fallen trunk of an elder, but it is so important because it is still brilliant for the wildlife to use. As you can see, there are shoots growing out of the trunk still, and it makes an excellent place for the animals to hide. Cicely Mary Barker's wonderful illustrations of the elder flower and the elderberry fairy. The stag's antlers are a fertility symbol, as are the elderberries. Foragers love the elder tree and we can see why. It's nature's true bounty. I hope you've enjoyed this episode all about this wonderful elder tree. I think you agree it's just as interesting and fascinating as the other trees that we featured in other episodes. I think I'm going to have a nice cool glass of elderberry wine. Until next time. <laughs>